So today we're going to be going over where to identify your water meter. It can be in a number of different locations. This one happens to be out by the curb in the parkway. We do have meters in driveways, and if you have an alley behind your home, they can be located there as well. And so now I'm going to be going over how to open your meter box. If you have a set of uh, blue handle pliers, you can actually open it pretty easily. So you'll just stick the end of the pliers in here. You'll lean on it. Watch out for your hands, and you'll just lift the lid out. Once you have it open, you have access to the entire meter box and all of its components. You can also use a screwdriver, which is basically the same concept. It goes in, lean on it, and pull it up as well, and uh, you can lift that lid out. So those are the two different ways that you can open a meter box pretty easily with things that you have in the home. So let's take a look inside of the meter box. So inside of a meter box, obviously you have the meter itself. On this side of the meter box, you may have either a gate valve or a ball valve, and these are actually the customer side shutoffs. If you don't have either of those, then this line here will be straight piped. On this side of the meter box, you'll see the angle stop, and this is the city side shutoff. So you want to avoid the city side shutoff if you have any sort of repairs that need to be made. You would shut down either the gate or the ball valve on the customer side and handle those repairs. If for some reason you don't have a shutoff or it's not working properly, you can contact customer care and they'll send someone out to close the city side shutoff. Here you have the lid of the meter. You can find the meter number on the lid and on the body and you want to make sure that this number is the same number that you will see on your actual water bill. When you lift this lid here, you'll see where you can find your actual meter read. So you'll be reading this from left to right, and this is actually the leak indicator, and right now it's stationary, so there's no water moving through. If this leak indicator starts to move, you can actually see it start to spin as it's doing here. So as it's turning, that indicates that water is flowing through the meter and headed somewhere on the property. So that's the best way to identify whether or not you have a leak on the property. If you come out to this leak indicator and it's moving, something's leaking somewhere if you're not already using water. And so here we have a house valve. Uh, this here, if you had any sort of leak and you were trying to identify it, you can actually turn this handle down and stop flow. If that flow at the meter stops, then you know it's inside of the home, in which case you can troubleshoot inside of the home. If it continues, there may be a leak in the irrigation line, so you would turn off the irrigation shutoff and see if it stops. Go back to the meter, check the leak indicator, and if it continues to spin, you may have a leak in your main line. If you've confirmed you have a leak on the property, we recommend you call a licensed plumber. For more questions, call the Water Resources team at 951-736-2234 or email stopthedrop at coronaca.gov.